You've probably experienced your dog rolling in something foul, right? They seem to have a radar for the most disgusting and repulsive stuff, and then they just soak in that nasty smell. But before we move on, go ahead and pause the video and drop a comment below with your theory or maybe share what you've heard or read about this. It's going to be interesting for all of us to find out what's commonly said about this topic. Can it be fixed? Let us know now. Have fun reading the different theories in the comments and trying out your own ideas. But no cheating. Don't watch the video before commenting. Hit pause and drop your thoughts now and feel free to comment again after watching the whole video with your opinion refreshed. So if you've already left a comment, let's move on with the video. I'll now pass it over to Orlando Ajo for the explanation. All right, let's break this down. To get what instinctual behavior is all about, we've got to dig deep into the evolutionary roots of that behavior. So canines chow down on raw meats and decomposing organic stuff. Why do we say decomposing organic matter well because their first bites are usually the entrails of their prey loaded with stuff in the midst of digestion that's decomposition for you and where do we humans come from in all this way back we weren't exactly carnivores uh, our menu was all about fruits and seeds up in the treetops those scents we adore them uh, flowers are like the warm-up act for fruits and seeds where there's a bloom, there's a feast for our primal primate ancestors living inside us. Perfumes, anyone? They're made from floral and fruity aromas and sometimes even aromatic seeds. Bingo, we douse ourselves in that aroma of resource abundance. We revel in those scents because they chill us out and give us a sense that we won't run short of anything. And there's the social side too. Soaking up those smells broadcast success. We're folks who bask in resource plenty. Now that we've decoded our own behaviors, Let's unpack what's going on with dogs. For a canine, the aroma of plenty is linked to decomposing organic matter. Yeah, it's kind of gross, but that's how they roll. Designed to feast on decomposing organic stuff, they're after that full and socially accepted feeling when they roll around in those smells. Cause for them, it's like sweet and pleasant perfume. Thinking they're trying to mask their own scent is a theory that misses the scale of a dog's sense of smell and their praise too. Trying to cover up a wolf's odor with the scent of something rotten is like trying to hide an ocean liner from our view with a tiny paper boat in front of it. You might be wondering, how can I correct this canine behavior? Let's see what Orlando Ejo has to say about it. Correct it? Nah, it's instinctual behavior. Instincts aren't reasoned with, instincts are followed. You can stop your dog if you catch them in, in the act, but they'll always have that pull towards those putrid smells just like we're always drawn to the fragrances of fruits, flowers, and seeds. Mm, Yo, now the ball is in your court. Comment below about what you thought of all this and we'll gift you a free workshop with a certificate in your name. Share your experience in the comments and receive your workshop absolutely free with a certificate endorsed by the Spanish Association of Canine Psychologists and Educators. What are you waiting for? We want to hear your opinion.